Hi, I'm John Ross. So this is my full reed making kit. Um, I can provide the first initial items individually so that would be the shooting block and the gouge. Um, I could also provide the reed carriage individually. Um, so the shooting block is machined to accept the diameter of the reed cane and the width of the slip. And then the brass rails are inserted and then remachined to accept the outside diameter or the sweep of the gouge. And machined at the required depth so that you can't gouge any deeper into the cane slip than the rails will allow you. Now this is designed to uh, and set up so that the the slip is at the required thickness for just a light sanding after gouging only. Um, now the the shooting block can be customised to match um, customers requirements. In this case this is a double sided one which would be an extra and would require two gouges. The other side of it in this case um, will accept Northumbrian small pipe gouge which is considerably different profile to the Ellen gouge. Um, and the shooting block is set up to match. This would work for Northumbrian small pipes, also uh, Scottish lowland and Scottish small pipes basically. Um, so I can manufacture these gouges from high carbon steel, hardened and tempered, um, to the required sweep needed for the uh, for the inside diameter of the cane. Um, I can customise the sweep to customers requirements um, if necessary. But that's the first initial item. The second item which I can also provide individually is the sanding carriage which has adjustable axles the rear axle is set higher than the front so you get an, an angle of attack the front axle is adjustable sideways so you can adjust it the angle sideways of the uh, of the scrape um, the mandrel set in the front of the carriage is high is a silver steel um, Royal mandrel to match the the profile of the inside of the, the staple. Um, set the reed onto the the mandrel, and um, perhaps work onto a sanding board, maybe. But you can set the sideways movement angle of the of the reed, and then you just lay your hand over the top. <coughs> Feel the front of the reed as you're as you're, as you're sanding. Um, just the same as you would if you were sanding without the carriage, but you get a perfect scrape this time because the the carriage is set up at the the correct height and angle. <coughs> when you turn the cane, the reed over in the carriage, and you sand away on the other side. You're going to get exactly the the same. Uh, scrape on the other side of the reed so you get an even scrape and you can lower the front of the axle evenly to to get a deeper scrape or raise it slightly whichever way you want to work get it set up and it'll work <coughs> identically every time that's the reed carriage I can provide that separately and I can customize the mandrel to suit customers requirements for um, staple profile. So the, f 
the, as I say, these two items, you, I can provide the gouging block and gouge as, as one uh, item. I can provide the reed carriage as another item. The full kit also incl includes three um, different grade of sandpaper boards, one sand sanding rod and cutting rod um, with a wedge insert to, to hold the, the sandpaper in place so no glue required here. Um, also um, a reed standing block a reed staple forming mandrel and a pattern staple so you can form the staple onto this this is hardened and tempered silver steel and a winding block so you can use the um, mandrel and winding block to, to wind your thread onto onto the reed um, a reed eye punch for just punching lightly into the into the end of the staple um, to form the correct shape of the eye of the staple a spare staple obviously as a pattern also a reed uh, forming um, slip forming pattern <coughs> and a crowing reed as as a pattern that will be the whole kit as I say customizable to suit customers needs um, thank you